Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to take you on a beauty journey of color correction. I'm so excited you're here with me today because you are going to love this video. It's going to teach you how to cover and correct extreme darkness, bags, and that demarcation line that we don't like that's underneath our eyes. We're going to lift that, we're going to brighten that. So ladies, let's get this beauty started. We're gonna get right into covering up dark circles and bags underneath your eyes. So first we wanna prep our skin, right? So right now I just have on my eyeshadow, my mascara, I do have Ardell naked lashes on and that's it. So I'm gonna do my foundation prepping with you. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to conceal if I had extremely dark circles underneath the eyes. Now this has come up so many times in my Zoom calls. I've been doing 15 minute free Zoom calls as I give back during this time and the ladies really have wanted to know what do I do what do I do with that deep crease right underneath the bag I'm going to tell you how to correct that so I'm going to just put my hair back so we have a nice clean canvas and we're going to go in with first prepping with two different eye balms I want to give you some options in this video today so I have the Caudalie that I've talked about in a lot of my different videos. I like it because it's a balm. I like it that it's cooling, it's lifting, it's very thin. It's not going to move my product around. It absorbs quickly into my skin. So this has been a favorite of mine. I found it a couple years ago and I've been using it. So I wanna prep my under eye first. I don't wanna have dry skin and trying to do a corrector and then a concealer. I want this to be really nice and hydrated. And another product I've been using, and I do love this brand, you know this, is Corez. It's a Greek line, you know I'm Greek. So I do love it. They did send me the Black Pine Super Eye Serum the other day, I've been using this. I love how it's in like a little syringe and it just deposits the right amount of product, one little pump. So I've been using this because it's lifting, it's cooling, and this is an option, an alternative to show you another product um, that I've been really liking. I see that my skin is nice and hydrated. It doesn't take a lot of it to go in. So I've been talking a lot about correctors lately, and I think that a lot of us are confused about corrector and a concealer. So I have mentioned before that a corrector is to lighten, right? We're correcting color. For instance, I have the no redness. I have redness in my face. I had a biopsy where I had stitches here, so I always have a little patch of redness here. I like to swipe this over. I have broken capillaries also. I want to neutralize that redness because my foundation, you can see it through if I just put my foundation on. So I want to lift that color, correct that color, and then be able to put my foundation over. Um, I've been showing you a lot of my Just Peachy. This is a great, if you don't have extreme darkness underneath the eye, this peachy color is going to brighten. It's going to first brighten the skin and then you can put on your concealer. Some don't need to do the concealer after. The Just Peachy is perfect. It lightens it beautifully and then the foundation or tinted moisturizer will go over. I'm talking extreme darkness that when you put on a concealer, it almost turns into like a gray putty color under your eyes. It's very frustrating for a lot of women that have come in here into the studio and have said, I use a concealer, but it doesn't work it doesn't cover and I know exactly what they're talking about because it's almost like you need to first correct that darkness in order you need to lift it in order to be able to conceal it so today we're using extreme <laughs> this is I don't want you to be afraid I knew when I was gonna show this you're gonna be like are you kidding you need to use this orange basically uh, it's called Extreme Cancel. You need to use a color like this to really alter the color. I'm gonna show you how I would use it on myself, considering that if I had really darkness underneath my eyes, and I have, you can see, I do have a little bit of that line that I'm gonna show you how we're going to brighten and correct that. So I'm going to just take a concealer brush out of my essential uh, brush kit, just a concealer brush like this, and I'm going to take it right from the tube. So I'm gonna just use, you wanna use 
a little bit of this product. I'm not saying to go crazy. I know it's gonna look really strange when I first do it, but this is what's going to work for you and it's going to make your skin look flawless. So I'm going to take it up into this area here where you see that you have that nose. Usually it's blues, it's gray. It has a little bit of that shadow. So we're gonna take this Extreme Cancel and we're gonna take it all the way up in here and we're gonna come down just where you have the darkness. Again, you can see it's a nice sheer wash of color. I'm not trying to get too much on the brush. I want to just cover where all that darkness is underneath up to the lash line, coming out and coming down. You can take your finger and work it in so you don't have any harsh lines in this, in this area here. So it's nice and it's almost like one skin. So we're color correcting, lifting that darkness, color correcting that darkness. Now I know that you're gonna think right now, oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You're making, it's like a little Halloween. Don't worry, stay with me ladies. This is what you're going to be doing to get that really beautiful brightness under the eyes when you're dealing with dark circles when you're dealing with this demarcation little line that you have here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So this is what we do. We've had this, we have this on now. I have a new product also called Lighten Up. It is in a concealer formulation. So you have a little wand. So this is like the eye brightener that I had in the ClickUp pen. It's out of stock right now. I've brought this product in because it's easy to use. It is going to brighten the area also. So where I have that, that you can see it more on actually this, this side of my, um, on my eye, but I'm going to just take the wand and I'm gonna go right into where that line is. I wanna lighten that up, okay? So this is how we are basically addressing the darkness, lifting that deep line, that deep set line that we have, lifting it up. Now I'm gonna do my foundation. So I'm gonna just prime with my canvas. This is from my Ever SPF 30. It is a clean beauty product, titanium dioxide. It is not um, chemical sunscreen. It gives me a little bit of nice glow to my skin. I like this because it grips my foundation. I get hydration, I get the SPF. It's light, it's not heavy. And um, it just really is a nice step. Even if I don't have any foundation on, at least I'm getting that SPF 30. So I am using the La Mer foundation. I love this foundation. I just literally opened up my next bottle. And I have an alternative too that I have used for years. I just recently bought it again. It's from Giorgio Armani. It's called Luminous Silk. And this is a perfect glow flawless foundation. It's a, it's a, a slightly lower price point. So I wanted to, cause yes, the La Mer, I personally think it's worth the investment. I um, have a whole story about it. I've done uh, the La Mer dupes. I have a video for you if you wanna see different options that are in that same kind of serum formulation. But I'm going to be using the La Mer today. So I'm gonna be using a beauty sponge also. Normally would be using a foundation brush because I don't like the sponges to pick up too much and take away my foundation. But with this, what we're doing right now, this technique, I'm gonna be using a beauty sponge. And I'm just gonna work this into my skin, avoiding the area right now because I'm gonna take my concealer and go back over that. But this is such a beautiful foundation. I mean, it smells like heaven. It has the miracle broth in it. It gives you this beautiful dewy look to your skin. It's moisturizing. That's why I like it for more mature skin. I just feel like it's, you know, your skin is just what people see. It's just like your teeth, you know? that you want your skin, you want to feel good about your skin. You want to feel like you're not wearing tons of makeup that's cracking, that's fa falling into the fine lines and wrinkles, that's sitting on your skin like little dots. You've had that foundation, right? Where it's just, you see it everywhere and you're just like, this is not what, this is not the look I'm going for. This La Mer does not do that. It hydrates the skin. I almost feel like it's a skin treatment. And I wasn't thrilled about the price when I was testing it out. I thought, I'm not gonna like it. I'll just take a sample. And of course I fell in love with it and I'm still using it now. It's been four years, four, four and a half years. 
So now I'm going to take my concealer wheel. I love the fact that I have three different colors that I can customize depending on what my skin's doing. My skin does something different all the time, whether I'm drinking too much coffee, I'm having too much of my favorite rosé, or I'm not getting enough sleep. So I can alter the color. I don't just have one color in a concealer. I have a wheel. So I have a cool undertone here. I also sell a warm undertone depending on your skin type. I'm going to take a clean concealer brush and I'm going to use the lighter shade. I wanna lighten up this area, and I'm gonna use just a little bit of the medium shade here. So I'm gonna just do a nice custom color, and I'm going to also, you, I'm gonna apply it like I have in my other videos where I like to come from the corner down to the nose and coming back, because I want this to be where I'm, high, I'm highlighting, I'm, I'm, I'm brightening this area of my face. So I'm just gonna go right over all of everything that I did and then I'm gonna work it in with my Beauty Blender. Now this is the other thing that I want you to pay attention to is that I am like stippling or I'm tapping into my skin. I'm not moving everything around that we just did. I wanna keep everything in place so it's nice little small tapping and I'm just working it down. So basically you wanna push everything into the skin. You don't wanna swipe around in a way because you're gonna be moving our corrective product and our brightener. Now I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and I'm going to just work it all in together. Again, same, the same action of tapping and working it in. Now what I'm gonna do is you wanna set your concealer and your brightener, everything we just worked on. So you can set it with a translucent HD powder like this one, or I have Nikita Banana, which is a new corrector that it's a powder that came out with a yellow undertone. So I'm going to still stay with the corrective, the whole corrective um, theme here today. And I'm going to just take a powder brush and I'm going to just tap into it and I'm going to set my foundation. I'm going to, well, I'm going to set my foundation too, but I'm going to set everything we just did with this brightener and concealer. So I'm going to just do a little bit of my lip and my cheeks taking Cheek Trick Creamy Blush, really pretty. This is just something that is really a natural look to your face if you're on wanting just a little bit of color. Today I don't want too much. I'm gonna do a really nice soft pink lip. Um, and so Cheek Trick is kind of like my go-to on the days where I'm like, I want a little color, I wanna look fresh. And um, I basically just do my apples, my cheeks, bring it back. And it's nice because it's like one skin. So it's not adding too much color. It's not adding powder to my face. And I just like the fact that it's really natural and it's very fresh. Now I'm gonna go into my lips. Just to complete my look, this is a new Cole lip pencil. It's called Glacier Pink that I'm using. I'm gonna just nicely um, line my lips. So I like to kind of fill in my lips too with the pencil. Uh, sometimes you can, if you love the color, you can just use this as your lipstick. That's a really nice way to create a dual purpose out of your lip liners. And then I'm going in with Pretty Smart. This is a really fun color because I, I picked it today because I thought, you know, you're pretty smart that you know how to really combat those dark circles. Um, I think that a nice, positive little mantra about fixing a beauty problem and, and doing it very, you know, this is very easy. It's about technique, it's about the right color, it's about you know really reversing it and, and changing the, the skin color. And I think that that's, it's such a great thing to do because it gives us so much confidence when we don't feel like we have such darkness underneath our eyes, we don't look so tired. So this is a really just, I love this pink. I think it'll maybe go with my, my girl boss um, t-shirt today. This is high gloss, very creamy, really, really beautiful to wear, comfortable. 
And um, I'm going to do just this baby pink lip gloss that we, I actually just launched this just right over. Cause you know, I can never put on a lipstick and not put on a gloss over just a little bit here. I just love, I just love glosses. I love gl a glossy lip. So basically that is how you cover dark circles demarcation line really just brightening the skin bringing it all together if you have any questions on this leave them in the comments below i would love for you to share this video if there's another woman in your life that you know a friend your mom that are really struggling with dark circles this is the answer is to be able to use color correctors and using them correctly and not trying to just cover darkness with a concealer it's not going to work it's just not it's you either have to put on too much product which looks cakey and fake or you're just not getting the the result that you want because it's just not it's never going to be able to lift that darkness so any questions ladies i'm always here for you i'm so happy that i was able to get this out you can put it into your library of videos to really refer back to when you're struggling with these different beauty issues and of course until my next video i'll see you later